Okay, so now we're going to get into today's topics. So the first thing is customizing your tabs. Now the tabs are those little things right below your cover photo, and they're basically kind of different programs, different things. And there's three main things that you can change on almost every tab. So you can change the order of the tabs. You can move them around. You can change the display picture, which is what it shows right here on the screen. And you can change the name of the tab. Now there's a few exceptions to this rule, and just let me show you those right here. So I'm going to pull up our test page. I just made this so I could go through, move things around, and not disturb our actual Facebook page. So these are your tabs right here. What you're going to need to do before you ever edit any of these is expand this little button right here to the right. So now the exceptions to these rules as far as moving and changing pictures. The big exception is the Photos tab. You can't do anything to this tab. It's always going to be the furthest left tab at the very top left corner. You can't change the photo on it. You can't move the position, and you can't change the name of this tab. The only thing that happens, you'll notice that this photo picture right here, the display picture for it, it's always going to be the last photo that you uploaded to your page. So in a way, you can change that display picture, but it's always going to be the last picture that you uploaded to your page. You can't really pick what it is. Uh, the two other tabs that you can't change the photo on, but you can move, are this Likes tab. So... You can see that I can move this tab around here. But the things I can't do are change the picture or change the name. And the Maps tab. That too, you can't change the picture and you can't change the name of it. But you can move it around. So now you just saw me doing this now. To move any tab, all you have to do is put your mouse over the tab, click on that pencil in the top right corner, and then the first option here you can see it says Swap Position With. You can basically swap these tabs around for any other tab except for the Photos tab. So if I wanted to change this to where the Pinterest tab is down at the bottom, I just click Pinterest tab, and you'll see them flip positions right there. Now let's say I want to move this tab up to where this tab is. So that's called the YouTube tab. I just changed the photo to make it look like an arrow. So you can move these tabs around basically however you want. Now let's say I wanted to change the name of a tab or change the picture of it. Once again, I'm going to click on that pencil in the top right corner of the tab. Go down to Edit Settings. And this is right right here. This is going to pop up. You can change the name right here. So follow us on Twitter. I think it's too long. It gets cut off there. So I'm just going to change this to Twitter. Okay. And click on Save. That's going to change the name of the tab. Now what else I'm going to do is change the image on this tab. Choose File. I have these kind of custom made ones already. I like our, our personalized Twitter one, so I'm going to change the picture to that. And there you see it changed right there. Now you can just close out of this window and click OK, and you'll see that change right there. So the name changed and the picture changed. And I'm just going to move this up towards where the Pinterest one is. So that's how you customize tabs. Now that's going to become really, really important in just a little bit here once I get to this next part. So this is the really, really big thing about this webinar that people seem to go crazy for. So adding your website to Facebook, this is a huge, huge, huge thing that you can do. And it's not only your website. You can actually add any website to Facebook. So I'm going to show you on our page right here what I mean by that. So we have this tab right here, HSA Online. And if somebody clicks on that, you'll see that our website is going to come up here. All right, now you see, look around the outside the border here. You're actually still in Facebook. You haven't left Facebook yet, but you're accessing our website, and you can also see that our website has all of its functionality. Now, this is surprisingly easy to do. You can, you know, order a warranty right from here, and you never even actually leave Facebook. You're still on Facebook here. See at the top? So this is a really, really cool thing to do, and surprisingly simple. You just got to make sure you have this checklist that you downloaded and this static HTML app. So, if you just open up that checklist, click on static HTML, what it's going to bring up is this, static HTML, iframes tab. So you have this big blue button right here that says add static HTML to a page. You're going to want to click on that. And now you're just going to say choose a page. Most of you will probably only have one page. What you just want to do here is pick whatever page you want to add that to, 
and then you're just gonna click add tab and it's gonna do that for you now I've already added this to our test page so I'm not gonna add it again right here what I'm gonna do is go back and this is a static HTML app it's gonna have a big big star in it so now if you click on this tab it's gonna take you right into what kinda looks like an editor and don't worry about all these extra buttons don't worry about all these extra things we're gonna keep it really simple all you need to do is go back to this checklist you see right here under adding your website to your Facebook page you just have to copy this little bit of code right here so from where it says script to script copy that go back to this little box where it says public content and just paste that right in there now you see where it says your website right here that's where it's gonna type in your own website so online hsa.com and you can click preview to make sure it's working right and you're gonna see that pop right up in here so that's pretty cool that's really really cool now let me just show you some other things you can do with this you can actually do it for any website it doesn't have to just be I'm gonna use Townsend real estate as an example here so I'm just gonna paste townsendrealestate.com in there hit preview and it's gonna pull their page in and once again this has all the functionality of your website you can go to any of these any of these things here go to agents but you're still in Facebook which is a really cool part so people can access and do anything on your website without ever leaving Facebook so think how this works with customizing tabs so you I mean now you know how to bring in any website or part of your website and you also know how to make a tab change the name and change the picture so you can make a tab not only for your website, but for maybe your featured listings. You could have a link that goes directly to that featured listing and have it also be a tab on Facebook. You could have it go to find an agent and have a list of your agents on there. There's really just an infinite amount of ways that you can use that knowledge right there. That's really, really simple to add you know, pages for anything you want, anything you want to highlight. And a big thing about your tabs, uh, make sure you, you do this too. Make sure that these three that you can move up here are your they're, they're gonna get the most real estate they're gonna get the most views make sure that's what you really are trying to advertise so if you're really trying to sell those featured listings move that tab up to the top here make sure it's in one of these top three or if you really want people going to your website make sure that link to your website up here when you pull in your website is one of these top three tabs up here because that's gonna get the most views okay so that's pretty cool that's a really big thing the combination of you know being able to customize those tabs pictures names and pull in any website or part of your website you know any you can even pull in a specific listing that's huge that's gonna get you a lot of attention right there